All right, so here's a question. If there was a place that you could go to in America or a place that was given to you to go to in America where freedom was free, right? The way we were taught and heard through our ancestors and parents and grandparents and so forth. Like in the history books, right? Open land, freedom, uh, Big Brother was not on your back, right? Uh, there was no HOA. There was no um, Karens of the world. There was no um, micromanaging of, of the law, right? But at the same time, everybody played by the rules, right? Still had law and order, still had a sheriff. But if there was a place that you were allowed to prosper to like you know out in the west my question is would you pick up your things and move there and that means leaving your family behind because not everybody's going to want to go if that place is not the idea place but they're saying look come to this part of the region which is two or three states all combined together and this is the new west not the Wild West, just the West. Would you move there? I said it a while back and, and it came, came true. I said there was going to be segregated 2A states. I said that a while back in one of my videos. Texas is leading the way. There's plenty of other states that have led the way for a long time too. The question is, are you willing to move where you're at now? pick up, move your family, and go to that state or states. Because like I said before, we all are part of the United States, 50 states involved. Not all states are free. That is the fact. You think you're free. You think you, because you fall under that flag there, that, uh, that you should have the same freedoms as everybody else. But that is not the case. And as we go through this year we're seeing more and more of those rights being lost we see more and more of less of america and more of this ideal ai world that's run on high technology with hackers ready at the keyboard right and uh, it is not the america that you read about that you heard about that maybe you used to live in it's not that America no more. That America's done. And uh, as much as I want to say I'm a proud to be, I'm proud to be an American. Uh, I will never, never take down my Texas flag. I've always thought of myself as a Texan, Texan pride, um, which is part of the United States. But if nothing else, I will always be a Texan till the day I die. This may not be America. <laughs> or at least the America that we knew it to be. And you know, the fact is guys, there's nothing we can do to stop it. This is called progress. This is called evolution. This is called new world, right? How many generations before us have tried to stop this from happening and look where we're at today. So that said, don't hold your breath. It ain't going back to the way it used to be. It never will. Welcome to the new world, and uh, we can bitch and complain all we want, but, and I'm not saying bend the knee, I'm not saying give in, but whether you like it or not, it ain't what it used to be, and that's a fact, whether you like it or not, so make your peace, make your little pie in the sky, and uh, carve out a little heaven in this place we call America, because, um, we're never going back to the way it used to be. And I can I can see that flag over time changing. Unfortunately, with too many leftist mindset out there who are dominating the political arena and taking over America. And it's sad, it's sad. Because their idea of this new world is a perfect world, but not for the rest of us. All right, 